Hello, this is Mira from Alaya Pilates. This is a hip strengthening class. In this class, we're going to work the intrinsic muscle of the hip joint, such as the piriformis, glute minimus, medius, and glute maximus, as well as our hamstrings, our hip flexors and adductors to give you a nice strong pelvis and hips. So, let's get on the mat. We're going to start standing up. I'm going to stand facing diagonally so you can see better. Right, so nice and tall to start. We're gonna take into some roll down. Take an in breath and exhale. Let's go ahead and roll the spine down and you're welcome to bend the knees. All right, if you're feeling very stiff today, take it all the way down, in breath. Exhale, I want you to lift that center and start sticking up the spine, coming up into a nice tall standing position. Let's take it one more time and breath out. We'll take it down. We'll roll down, we'll roll down. Soften the knees if you need to. Do whatever feel better or best for you today. And then exhale, let's pick up the abdominal as you roll the spine up, 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 up. Okay, let's take into some squats. We inhale, let's take your arms over, head, now I want you to have, make sure that your knees are hip width apart as well as your feet. And then coming up, tall. We inhale to bring that pelvis back, weight on the heels a little bit and the arms next to your ears. And then exhale. And again, inhale. And an exhale. So we're gonna start with some standing series and then we're gonna take ourselves to the floor series in this class. And two more. And, and the last one, let's stay here. I want you to take your right leg out, reach it out, and come back in. And then reach it out, and come back in. And three, and let's go three more. And four, and five, and six, hold. Now let's take the leg up, lift six, and five, and four, and three. Hard work here, two, one, take the leg back in and coming up. Let's go to the other side and bring the arms up and then we reach six and five. Stabilize the pelvis, four and three and two. One hole, let's take it up. Six, five, four, three, two, one, take it in, arms down and coming up. And again, we'll take it down into our squat. So weight on the heels. Now take the right leg back, reach and return. Two and return, three and back, four and back, two more. Last one, hold, let's go. Take it up, six, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it in, and come up. And let's take it down again. And left leg out, and in, and two, and in, and three, and four. Two more, five. Last one, hold, and let's take it up. Six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, bring it in, and one more set, shall we? And bring it down. And run leg, right leg forward. And two. And three. And four. And five. And hold. Let's take it up. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Ooh, one. Bring it in. And come up. Last set, guys. Let's bring it down. And forward. And two. Left leg. Down. Three. Four. Five. Six. Hold. Let's take it up. Six. Five. Hold the center. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring it in. Whew. Shake it out. Well done. All right. Let's take ourselves onto the floor here. Okay, right, now, feet hip-width apart, 
again. As well as the knee, arms long, chest open. Let's take ourselves into some pelvic curl. So take an inhale, exhale, scoop the belly in, roll the pelvis up, coming up onto that bridge position. Take care that you don't push that ribs up, hold an in breath, and exhale, down we go. Artic excuse me, articulate the spine down and release the pelvis at and repeat again. We breathe out, we roll it up, we bring that pelvis up. Right, inhale and exhale, melting the spine, taking it down to that neutral spinal position. Let's go, three more. We breathe out, bring it up to that bridge. Inhale, exhale. Make sure you really articulate the spine down, guys. Okay, one vertebra at a time. And again, two more. And reaching the knees away. And exhale, rolling the spine down. Release. Next one will stay up. And we roll up again. We'll take it up, take it up, and we stay. Now, wanting to keep the knees pointing the same way. Now, wanting to drop the left hip down. Bring yourself into a little rotation in the spine and then press it up. And then the right hip down and then press it up. And the left and then press it up. Take care that you don't move the knee or sway the knee left and right and up. It's purely coming from the pelvis and the right hip drop down, rotating the pelvis and back. And then the left down and we press. And the right one and we press. And the left one and we press. And the right we press. And the left we press. And right, we press one more each side. We press, then the last one. We hold there, hold the pelvis. Now lift the heels up and lower. And the toes and lower. Heels coming up and, and flex the feet the other way and down. Heels come up and then the toes and the foot comes up. Oh, don't drop the pelvis too. And a lift, adjust it. And then lift the pelvis as you lift the feet. And again, lift the heels. And then lift the toes. And two more, lift the heels. And lift the toes. You can feel the hamstring starting to warm up, yeah? And then lift the toes. And we stay. Now hold. Now I want you to keep that length in the spine. Keep it long. Now we're going to lower the pelvis. Do not articulate, just draw it down before you touch the floor. And we press it up. And then lower, nice straight long spine. And exhale. And then we lower. And exhale. And we lower. And exhale. And lower. And exhale. Yeah, those glutes are starting to work a lot here. And again, down. And we press. And three more. And we press, and two more, and we press. And the last one, we press, hold there for five, four, keep the knees long, three, two, work the inner thighs, one, and let's articulate down, down, down. And release the pelvis, well done. Bring your feet into a small V. So in ballet, we call it the first position. So just bring the heels together and toes out and the knees are slightly out in diagonal position. Okay, let's go ahead and articulate the pelvis up again onto a bridge. And then let's take it down. Let's do two more like that only. And roll it up, pelvic curl up to the bridge. Hold, and let's take it down. The last one, we're gonna stay up. And we're gonna bring it up again. Okay, now keep that spine long again. Lower the pelvis down and then press it up. So this is a hip lift, hips down, pelvis down, pelvis up. And a nice long spine and a pelvis up. You're gonna break it from the hip joint here and the spine stays on one unit, okay? So no articulation, no curling. And a pure hip lift and then down. 
and a lift and then down and a lift and then down and a lift oh it's burning and a lift and then three and two and one let's hold there for five four let's work the inner thighs a little bit guys three two one let's roll down roll down roll down Ooh, wow all right knees together legs together okay let's take the leg up so one leg up to tabletop here hold it and hold that center let's take the other one to tabletop okay i'm just gonna bring my radio to the side a little bit more now take your arms out to the side of your hips here you can make it slightly wider squeeze the knees together we're going to go into some spine twist so i'm going towards you the knees stay together squeeze the inner thighs rotate from the spine exhale coming back inhale over to the other side squeezing the knees and exhale Inhale, opposite shoulder stays down. Now you really need to control this movement. Try not to drop your whole leg down to the floor. Okay, so spiraling from the center, squeezing the knees together, opposite shoulder stay down. And then over to the other side as you inhale and exhale. One of the principle of Pilates is control. So we need to control all that movement, especially in this one. Okay, and then exhale. Now let's do one more time to wake up the obliques. And exhale. Last one. And exhale. Lower one foot down, second one down. And I'm gonna stretch the leg out. I'm just gonna move myself here, okay? Now I'm going to take my left leg up to tabletop here, okay? Drawing the center, we're gonna stretch the leg up. Let's flex foot, and then we point. And again, stretch and we flex the foot, and we point. Stretch and we flex. And two more, stretch and we flex. And the last one, and we flex, hold. Let's do some single leg circles. So across the body, and then down, stay parallel, and back, and then inhale, one round and an exhale one round and an inhale stabilize the pelvis and an exhale one round and then control the movement and an exhale one run one more set and an exhale we hold other direction to the side to the outside down across and an exhale and an in breath and an exhale Stay parallel and then control the movement and an in breath and an exhale. Last set in breath and an exhale. Hold, point, bend and stretch the leg down. Okay, let's take the other leg up onto the tabletop and let's extend with flex. Pull the toes to you and we bend. And then straight and pull the toes to you and we bend. And extend, flex, and we fall. And extend, flex, and we fall. One more. And we'll hold. Let's do single leg circle. Across, down, and out. In breath. And exhale. You can also hold the pelvis here to maintain or to have a good feedback what your pelvis and hips are doing here. And an inhale and an exhale. Bring it up. Last set. In breath and an exhale. Bring it up. Hold the other way. Out, down, across, in. And an exhale. And an in. And an exhale. And in. And exhale. Two more. In and exhale. Last one. In and exhale. Hold, point, bend the knee, and let's take the foot down. Bring the other leg into a bent position. All right, let's take one leg up to tabletop, second leg up to tabletop. Let's take your arms overhead. We're gonna go straight to your hundreds here. So we breathe that, lift the head and the chest up, curl it up. Let's extend the legs up to the ceiling. You can also do it in tabletop if you wish. And then let's go, we breathe that. And inhale. And exhale. 
exhale. Shh, 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 shh. And inhale. Reach the legs away. And exhale. Shh, 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 shh. And in breath. And exhale. Shh, 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 shh. And in breath. And exhale. Shh, 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 shh. And in breath. Let's do two more sets. And exhale. Shh, 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 shh. And in breath. And last one. Shh, 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 shh. And in breath. Hold. Bend the knee. Lower one foot down. Second one down. Stretch the legs away. And lower the chest. Ah, take your arms overhead. Palms, arms facing each other. Lengthen the ribs down. Let's go to the roll-ups here. So we lift the head and inhale and chest up to whoop, square yourself. Exhale, pull up, 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 up into the roll-up position here. Hold that center. We breathe out to roll the pelvis down. Let's take your arms overhead. And arms, head lift, chest lift. Exhale, pull up, pull up, pull up into that C curve. In breath. And exhale. Let's roll back. Sacrum down. Into the chest lift. And arms overhead. Repeat. Arms, head lift, chest lift. And exhale. Pull up, up, up into that C curve. And again, Take care that you don't slouch that back. Okay, lift from the lower abs. And then roll back, back, back. And let's go one more time. Arms, lift, and curl up. Squeeze the inner thighs, lifting up and over. And let's take it down, down, down. And let's take the arms over. Okay, now one leg up to tabletop. We're gonna do single leg stretch and a second leg tabletop. A slight variation here. So lift the head and the chest up, grab the left knee and then extend the right leg out. Keep the pelvis as neutral as possible here. Now from here, we're gonna go and exhale, change, hold, lift and then lower and change, lift and 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 lower and switch, lift and lower and switch, lift and lower and one more set, lift and lower, last one, lift and hold, interlace the fingers behind the head, crisscross over to the bent knee and then we switch and stay, we extend, we bend and switch, extend, we fall and switch, extend, we fold and switch, extend, Stand, we fall and a switch and twist and lift, bend, switch, twist and lift, bend, switch. One more set, lift, bend, switch and a twist, lift, bend, center, ho, 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 coming down. Good job. Lower one foot down, second one down. Hold the center. Now I want you to just stretch. All right, sorry. Lift the left leg up. Hold the pelvis. Stabilize the waist. Stabilize the spine. Straighten the leg. Hold that. Now we're going to create a letter D with this leg. So we're going to go down, stay parallel, out, up, down, and then down, side. And it's so a half a circle. Stay parallel, hold that center, and then one more, and then reverse, up, side, down, up, side, down, like a D, and letter D with the leg, and then one more time, bring it in, and then lower. Let's go to the other side, please. Let's lift the right leg, this one, stretch it out, and let's go down, side, up, and then down, Side, up, and then down, side. One more, hold the pelvis, and other direction. Out, down, up, out, down, up, out, down, up. One more, down, hold, bend the knee, 
take the foot down, okay? Set your body, set your feet for some pelvic curls again. So we breathe out, we curl the pelvis up to that bridge. Hold, hold, stabilize the pelvis. We roll down, down, down one more time. And then we're going to do some shoulder bridge preparation. So we bring it up, coming up onto that bridge. Now I'm gonna hold my left leg. I'm gonna take my right leg up to a tabletop. Stabilize the pelvis. You're gonna tap that leg, the right leg down. And then we bring it up. Inhale and exhale. In breath and exhale. In breath and exhale. And three. Up and in two. Up and in one. Hold. Now let's lower the pelvis down. No articulation. Just straight down to the floor and bring it up. And straight down to the floor and bring it up. And down. And bring it up. And three. And and two and one up foot down adjust the pelvis and let's articulate the spine down all right we're gonna have to do the other side now so let's roll it up to that bridge and let's have the left leg up the tabletop right weight on the right foot and we go tap and exhale and we tap it and we tap it and three more and two and one and hold now lower the pelvis down and lift and and down and lift and and down and lift and and down two more here Last one. Okay, good work. Foot down, hips stay up, hold. Let's roll the spine, roll it, roll it, roll it. Good work. All right, let's grab the hands, the back of your thighs, and then you can take your feet a little bit further away from your pelvis. Lift the head and the chest up, and scoop the belly in and pull yourself up, up, Ooh, up work, up, up. Good job. All right, stretch your legs forward, slightly wider than the pelvis or the hips. Or you can also do it math with the part here. Bring the spine nice and tall. Let's do some spine stretch here. So we breathe out. We articulate the spine. And then we're just gonna hinge forward at the end. And we exhale, pick up the center, coming up nice and tall. Breathe out. We roll down, roll the spine, roll the spine, and forward a little bit, in breath, exhale. We roll up, we roll up, we lift, two more. Exhale, scooping up that belly, rolling the spine down, in breath, and exhale. We take it up, take it up, take it up, last one. And we roll down, in breath, Exhale, we roll up, up. Okay, arms out to the side. We're gonna do some so here. So we're going to twist or rotate the body to one side. Bring one arm forward, one arm back, and hinge forward. So the outside of the leg or the foot, bring it up and center. We twist, arm cross, and hinge, lengthen, and up, arm, and twist. Twist, arm, and then hinge and lift, arm, twist, and twist, arm, and then hinge and lift, arm, twist, in breath, and and then twist, one more set, hinge, lift, center, and last one, up and reach, lift, arm, center. Good job. Legs together here. 
All right, let's go into back support. So you can have the heels slightly apart. Let's take your arms behind you like so here, okay? Now, if this is too much for you, you can also do this with the bent knees like so. I'm going to do the straight legs version. So you're welcome to modify it and bend your knees, okay? So chest open and let's go ahead and press that hips up. Neck is long and then hinge down and come back into nice long back. And we're gonna press up, neck is long, pelvis up and then hinge down. Two more and press up and down, last one, press up, let's stay here. I want you to take your right leg up, hold that position for six, five, four, three, two, one, take it down, other side, lift it up, hold it for six, five, four, three, two, one, take it down, Hinge down, well done. Bend the knee, cross the leg, bring the arms forward, coming onto your quadruped position here. Okay, so align the shoulder and your hand and the hips and your knee. Okay, now here, let's take, I'm gonna take my left leg up first. So, we're gonna bend the knee, we'll keep it like that, take your foot off, and we're gonna lift the pelvis, reach it up, and we're gonna take it down. And then we go lift and down, stabilize the pelvis, and down. Let's go 10 here, four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now to the side, we open 10, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now extend that leg back, straight leg, proud chest. We take the leg up for 10, and nine, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, hold that center, two, and hold that center, one. Now I'm gonna bring my right elbow down, all right? My left elbow out to the side, hold that, and then we're gonna bring the leg out to the side, and then we bring it back, just do five of this. And then two, and then bring it back. And three, and then bring it back. And four, one more, five, hold, we tap it down. Lift, five, four, three, two, one, bring it back. Come up onto your hand and bring the knee in. Over to the other side and we take the right foot off and we lift and down. And on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, and eight, nine, on ten, on to the side please, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and straight leg behind, and we go, lift, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost there, nine, last hold, now drop the left elbow down, 
right elbow open to the side and we're going to go to the side for five and back and two and back and three and back and four back last five hold we drop it down we lift and down we lift on three we lift on four lift last one up bring it back 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 come up on two both hands bring it in good job just sit the pelvis back for a second and coming back again to a quadruped i'm going to tuck your feet under i'd like you to tuck your toes under hold that center come up onto a little modified plank here now we're just going to rock the pelvis forward and back and then forward and back bring the pelvis power from the leg hold that center onto five on four and three and two and one hold straighten the leg into your front support hold and now we're going to take one foot to the side of the mat and then the other one to the side and up onto a little squat and then down and then we're going to step it out and step it out and again step step and hold and then down step step and step step and lift and take it down step step two more step step and hold and then down step step last one up as whole little pulses here lift it up inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale two more sets inhale last set inhale hold bring it down okay step one foot back second one back and one knee in and the other one down and pelvis back and just stretch it for a second in breath and exhale hold it hold it hold it and roll away face me on your side please okay straighten the leg we're just going to go into a side plank now you're welcome to have your feet stacked up like i'm doing or you can separate them to give you a little bit of a less challenging position so right lift the bottom ribs and waist hand to here now shall we we we'll lift the pelvis and then we're going to drop the pelvis down and we'll lift it up again and then down and lift it up again and on three and lift and four and lift four more and lift three more and lift two more and last one hold 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 come down tuck the feet in come up sit it reach the arm up and a little lateral side stretch three two one other side please okay all right onto your forearm flex the feet okay lift the bottom waist hand behind all right let's go lift it up hold and we we'll lower and two and we we'll lower and three again you can also separate your feet here you don't have to stack them like what i'm doing and i lost count let's do three more and three and two last one hold 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 bring it down good job feet in arm up and off we go what a good stretch hold that length in the spine neck is long three two one onto your front 
Okay, we'll do single leg kick and then we'll see. So let's go into interlace the hands, collapse the hands. All right, a nice strong tripod position in the arm and a nice open back here. Stretch the leg away, pick up the legs off the floor, hold that center and a double leg kick with the right knee and then lengthen and then lengthen and then lengthen inhale inhale and lengthen exhale exhale and lengthen inhale sorry and lengthen inhale inhale and lengthen inhale inhale and lengthen exhale exhale and lengthen lengthen inhale last set Inhale and stretch and lower down. Now, let's take your forearm a little bit forward. Let's take the hands together on top of the other. Now, here, I want you to draw the shoulders down. I want you to hold over the back, coming up into a slight extension in the upper back here. Neck is long. Try not to break the neck like so. Right, heels together. Exhale, rotate your thighs, your hip, toes out, okay? Hold that center, lift the legs up, pick up the belly, and we open the legs and we're gonna beat the heels together. So, clicking the heels, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 3 more set, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 2 more set, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the last set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze. Well done, release. Okay, bring your arm, forearm to the side of your shoulder, elbows reaching out, neck is long. We're just gonna do some swan here. So we breathe out to pick up the belly. Inhale, lengthen the shoulders down, lift the head and the chest up, coming into your maximum mid-back extension or thoracic extension, and then you can push up to wherever you feel comfortable today. Pick up the center, neck is long, back is long, and let's take it down, 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 down. Two more, inhale, shoulder gliding down, and we can press it up. You don't have to fully extend the arm, you can just stay in this position halfway, that's fine. Okay, listen to your body. And then bring it down, down, down. Let's go one more time. Inhale, lift, up, 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 reach. And exhale, down, down, down. Good job. All right, push the floor away. Sit the pelvis back and reach the arms out. Stay here. We in breath and exhale. One more in breath and exhale. Roll your spine up. Okay, let's take the right foot forward here. We're almost there. This is the last series. And then hands on the floor next to your foot, the front foot, this is my right foot. Stretch the back leg off. Okay, hold that center, bring it up, arms to the side, or like so, or like so. And then we're just gonna take the back knee down and then bring and push it up. And back knee down, and then bring it up. And then two more, and lift. The last one, and lift, hold, hands down, and then straighten, adjust the back foot, straighten the front leg, and then you can flex that foot, pull it up to you, keep the spine nice and long, steady for your little hamstring stretch, on three, and two, and one, and then bring it down, and I'm switching out. All right, let's step that front foot back, 
that leg forward, straighten the back leg, hold that center, bring it up into a lunge, and knee down, and then we press, and a knee down, and then we press, and a knee down, and then we press. Two more, knee down. Last one, knee down. Hands down. Adjust the back foot, straighten the front. And we flex the front foot. And then lengthen the back, hold there. Three, two, one, and coming in. Okay, come down onto the floor. And let's cross one leg on top of the other. Like so, I have my left leg over my right. Okay, try to get both sitting bone down. Lifting my left thighs up for a nice glute stretch. Reaching my right arm, bring it across the outside of my left thigh. And let's twist the spine to the back. A well deserved stretch for the glutes, the hips. And then just stay here, inhale. And exhale, try to have both sitting bone down on the floor here. And one more. Release. Other side. Okay. Okay, so I'll right leg over, reach out, bring it across, lift the spine, and let's twist to the back, both sitting bone down on the floor, and how we twist, in breath, and exhale, one more, and exhale, and release. Good job, you did a great class today. Thank you for joining me on the mat. I hope you enjoyed that. If you do enjoy, please join me in my other video in this channel. And don't forget to subscribe, comment below if you have any questions or requests for a class. I wish you a good day and take care.